Brittany. In today's video, I am dressed as Yoshi. <laughs> if you can't tell, I was watching like my playback on my camera and I was like, yeah, it looks kind of weird on camera. But yes, I am Yoshi. This is like my little headpiece. It's like a big headpiece. I got it on Amazon like two years ago or a year and a half ago. Hopefully you can tell that I'm Yoshi. It looks better when I look down like this. When I'm up like this, like my head's up like this, it looks a little funny, but hopefully you get the idea and I have like my Yoshi shirt on. <laughs> Today's video is another ghost story. I'm not sure if you guys are really familiar with it though. I first heard this story when I was a kid and I was watching Scary But True. Just like Condi's ghost. That was one of the scariest episodes of Scary But True. But this story really freaked me out as well. This story takes place in Gurdon, Arkansas. People refer to the story as Gurdon's Light. It's all about a man that was decapitated back in 1931, and today he is now seen walking up and down the railroad tracks, holding a lantern. Well, I'm not holding a lantern, but I'm pretending I'm holding one. And he's looking for his head, as people say. The name of this ghost is William McLean. The story goes that William was murdered by one of his fellow workers on the railroad tracks. They got into some heated argument and then the guy just took his head off. But then I heard another version that William was on the railroad track and he actually got hit by a train and then the train took off his head. The reason why people know that this is William's ghost on the track is because two months after his death, that is when the light of the lantern started showing. This light is really weird. You'll see it, it'll blink at you. Sometimes it will just kind of like move from side to side. It will like bob a bit. It will come towards you. It will back away from you. It's a really weird light, but it looks like a lantern. An interesting part of the story is everybody that has gone to that track to investigate, to try to find the ghost of William McLean, has always had success with seeing the light. Everybody has seen this light. Back in November of 2000, there was a group of people that wanted to see this light, just like everybody else. But this group, they actually caught it on camera. They got um, an apparition of William. They first saw the lantern floating, and then they actually saw his arm, and they started seeing an apparition of a man. So I think that was really creepy because I don't think everybody has seen the apparition of William McLean. They all just see his light in the distance. A really weird thing about the story is if you really want to see William McLean or his light, you have to take a rock and you have to tap it on the train track. Just tap it and apparently it's almost like it sends them a message like I want to see you and as soon as you tap the rock you will see the light almost like it's like a switch it turns on there was a group of people that went there a long time ago and they were tapping a rock on the track and every time they did that they saw the light in the distance it would start swaying and then it started coming towards them and it backs away I don't think the ghost of William McLean wants you to get close to him I think he wants you to know that he is there but I don't think he really wants you to go near him. I think he kind of wants to be left alone, but I don't think he has a problem with making his presence known. Would you guys ever go to this train track and try to see William McLean with his lantern? I definitely would. I think that's like my answer all the time. I want to go to every haunted location in the world and try to communicate with any spirit that is there. That is just like my goal in life. I know it's probably impossible, but you know, I'll get around to it. I really want to see this ghost. It's very like, because I remember it as a kid. And, like, you know when you're a kid and you watch like all these ghost shows, you're like, oh my God. You know what I mean? Like it's something that I want to investigate and go there. And if I got his lantern on camera, that would be absolutely amazing. So let me know what you guys would do. Leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.